Good morning. It is day four. Took me three hours to get out of bed. <laughs> I woke up at nine. I laid there, did my emails, did some calls. But I just did not have it in me to get up. I'm not hungry per se, but my stomach feels empty. I feel very slightly weak. If I get up too fast, then I'm a little bit dizzy. So I've been taking it easy, walking slow. I'm getting my first tea started because I like to start the day off with my tea. I'm doing my raspberry leaf tea and my Seahawk. I don't even know if I told you, but you guys like, <laughs> I don't even know that I'm on my period until I use the bathroom. No cramps today at all. Absolutely crazy. Like these right here, bruh. I wish I would've started doing this a long time ago. But today I think I'm gonna add a little ginger in my morning tea, because I love me some ginger tea. I just got this about a week ago, because every time I buy fresh ginger, a lot of it goes bad. So this one is freeze dried, and I'm gonna try this. Cut up in these little pieces like this. So I'm just gonna be taking one leaf from each. I'm gonna brew that for a while. Gonna let it cool. I think I'm gonna have another key lime, just for some energy. So yesterday was the first day I didn't really have a real bowel movement. I know this is TMI, but I know there's somebody who's gonna wanna know this. It was like nothing, so. Obviously, having bowel movements is how we release toxins from our body and clean our colon. So, I might do a salt water flush. I don't know, it depends how I feel. And then that should also help because it'll give me some electrolytes, which should help with energy. After the seven or 10 day mark is typically when you get a little bit more energy. I'm contemplating if I could even do yoga because all the up and downs of my head, I think would make me too dizzy. Like right now my heart is beating really fast just from that short walk. I think I'm gonna take it easy. Like I'm looking out of breath. <laughs> it's usually around day five, day seven, sometimes 10, that your energy starts to build. So I'm just playing it by ear. Last night, I think I did like a very short meditation in my bed before I went to sleep. But as always, I always give my gratitudes before I open my eyes. I did that and I also found that I've been giving gratitude a little bit more than once a day, especially because I've been seeing 1111 still on a daily frequency, so my angel numbers are crazy right now. I've also been able to see energy a lot more as of recently and I'm doing this not only like for trying to tackle whatever piece of PCOS symptoms are trying to creep up on me, but I mainly did this because of spiritual reasons and you know, for health as well, obviously. I, I feel so many shifts happening within this year for myself and I've had so many shifts as far as like people in my life, even materialistic things, my intuition telling me to do X, Y, Z. So I know this is a big year for me spiritually, so I'm trying to do this before the next season. And as you guys know, I started on the new moon, which is a new beginning. So I'm trying to start the next season on a heightened level. As far as my breath, today was the first day that like, I'm like, ugh, my breath tastes kind of weird. And I'm starting to get some white film. Eh, that's obviously our body releasing toxins. So I have to scrub my tongue in a bit. It's really weird because when you're fasting, your teeth are so clean, but it's like, it's the breath thing for me. like. I have nothing on my teeth. But today is the first day that I actually could say that my breath is not okay. Um, and neither are my underarms. <laughs> so I guess today I'm just, I'm pumping out toxins today. Oh my God, I might have to take a shower. That was, I wasn't actually expecting that. Because my underarms never stink. So I don't even use deodorant. So I was not expecting. Woo, okay, so that's some day four symptoms for you guys. My period is like 50% lighter than it normally is. Like, this might be TMI, and if there's a guy watching this, I apologize. But I will soil pads like at night, and when I wake up, I have to change them because they're soiled. Like, I've been waking up, and I'm like, really? This, what? You know, like, so this protocol I've been doing, I'm so excited to share that. That's going to be a different video because I just wish I would have just started taking these herbs and regimens a long time ago. I know I haven't been doing like extremely daily updates only because the bulk of the time I've just kind of been in my bed taking it easy. If I'm not just drinking water or tea or something, like I'm not doing nothing special. 
and how I update you guys in the morning is kind of how I've been feeling throughout the day. I'm just trying to get over this hump because this is usually the worst hump. But what I can say about this fast is like really there is no hunger in my belly. I've done other fasts before where my like psychological hun hunger is like so extreme. I'm like, ah, I gotta eat. But this time it's not even that. It's more so like the annoyance of feeling weak and the annoyance of like the that I'm not able to eat like the act of eating because I love the taste of food but I'm not actually hungry like that has not really affected me this fast and I think mainly because I kind of prepared myself a little bit more just because two months ago I did a 17 day fast so that's why now I'm going to extend it to the 30 so I'm I guess building myself up. I used to do three day fast like it was nothing. And then from there, I think my longest was five days. And the next time I did it, I did eight days. And after eight days, I did 17 days. And then now it's just like, I could bust this out. Like, let me just get this over with. I got this, you know? I got my tea on, so let me go put my herbs in it. And I'll check back with y'all later. So I just woke up from a nap. Slept for like an hour. Today is very hard. Like, I just don't have the energy for anything. All I want to do is just lay down. Like, I'm very behind in my water intake because I just laid in my bed all day. And I come upstairs, I get super winded. Typically, once you start feeling this way, that usually means your body is in ketosis. And basically... All of your energy is being used to repair itself. So I'm just trying to listen to my body and just take it easy. But if I get up too fast or make sudden movements, I'm like lightheaded. I feel nauseous right now. I just drank some water and I'm like honestly repulsed by the taste of water right now. Like it's disgusting. Like even trying to take down my vitamins was like a challenge. I think it's like 6.20 right now. I noticed my lips are a lot drier today. Probably because I'm not drinking as much water. Ugh, I'm making some more tea right now. I put some more ginger in it. I'm over it today. Like I'm over the feeling. I also feel like today I had a little bit and kind of currently... Um, hunger pains and that might just be not a real thing and just me just wanting to eat but today I just feel very lethargic and weak <sighs> just trying to get over this hurdle I know this is the worst part of a fast when your body starts going into ketosis 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 I haven't done anything today I blocked my social media apps. So the most I've done is, oh, I meditated for 25 minutes. And this time I did a guided meditation because um, I needed to hear someone speak affirmation so I could just take that in. I set my intentions during that meditation and I set my intentions for why I'm fasting it was beautiful and I guess like towards the end, I believe it was a 23 minute video. So somewhere towards the end, I actually fell asleep. So it was a deep breathing type meditation. So I believe it just calmed me and it put me to bed. So got that out the way. Didn't get to do yoga today. I just don't have it in me. But I did save a yoga session for hopefully tomorrow where it doesn't require any like planks or downward dogs, anything where I have to keep whipping my head back and forth because that's my typical routine. I do a lot of downward dogs, I could be saying this wrong, vispanas, planks, um, cat and dogs. I mean, not cat and dogs, what I'm talking about. Um, cat and cows. You get what I'm saying. I do a lot where like it requires my head to go up and down. And I just don't think at this moment I can handle that. Kind of just stay focused on getting to day seven. Because typically a lot of these feelings kind of subside. I know it doesn't help that I'm on my period. I know that for a fact. Because that already drains you, you know? So, 
if I could just get to day seven and be done with my cycle and then also be done with like the worst part of this fast, I feel like I'll be good. I haven't had any real sensations of having to use the restroom. And then I think I kind of stopped thinking about salt water flush. I think I'm just gonna let my body just naturally do what it's supposed to do on a water fast. I know this was kind of a rant. Uh, my breath is still not great. My underarms are worse. <laughs> so I'm also nauseated by that. Like I'm not used to body odor. So it, like, I'm like disgusted. I feel like my sense of smell is so high. Like I had to unplug my Glade plug-in by my room because it was like making me disgusted. Like I was nauseated by the smell of it. And it's like one of those two ones. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but you could plug two in the same one and it's supposed to switch back and forth between scents. And it only has one right now. And it was so freaking fragrant. I was like, oh no, I had to let it go. So honestly, my underarms might not even be as bad as I'm perceiving them to be, but like my sense of smell is so strong right now that I Ugh, and I think that's why I made my vitamins hard to take because I felt like I could smell those. And then I love water, you guys. I am a water drinker. It's the only thing I drink other than like cold pressed juices every now and then or teas. I love tea, but like literally the taste of it on my tongue is just, ugh, it's no bueno. So I don't know if I'll come back for another update because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink this nasty tea and it's detox tea. So those are never good. After that, I think I'm going to shower and just climb back in bed. Like, I think I'm done for the night. You guys probably won't see me take my last vitamins because I'm just so disgusted like by everything right now. My restlessness in my legs have went away. So last night I was able to sleep perfectly fine. I didn't feel like that built up tension in my thighs. Still going through the hot and cold. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but I have goosebumps. See my goosebumps? And the current temperature in my house is 80 degrees and I'm cold. And usually 80, I'm fine, I'm straight. Like I don't have to turn the AC on, don't have to turn the heat on, nothing. Like that's my constant temperature in my house and I'm cold right now. Oh, another thing that I noticed today and yesterday, my heart rate goes up so much when I try to do anything. And that's a normal occurrence. Some people's heart rate goes really low. And some people's goes really high. I think the average is like 80. Only when I get up do I feel my heart. And I, get, I almost feel like I hear it. But if I'm laying down like right now, like I'm good. It's just when I like get up to go about doing stuff, but that's also a normal part of fasting around this time. So just taking it easy. Just hoping tomorrow's a little bit easier. I just freaking want this period to end, like, cause I know that's taken away from my energy as well. But your girl is just trying to get through. But I mean, those are all the side effects that I've had today and yesterday. Today's harder than yesterday for sure. Cause yesterday I moved around a lot more. But okay, I'm sorry, I feel like a Debbie Downer today. I'm actually very happy. <laughs> very happy today, I'm just weak. I just can't wait until I can have a mango. Okay, that's all my updates. My camera's telling me I have no more time. Deuces. Good morning. We are on day five. I feel much better today. I still get a little woozy if I try to just sit up too fast. Other than that, I've been kind of moving around today. I have a facial right now, so I'm about to drive 38 minutes to my facial. I've already taken my vitamins for the morning. <sighs> I'm a little winded. Um, cause I just came from upstairs. My heart is kind of beating really fast right now. But other than that, I'm moving around a lot better. Today, I think I'm gonna get some fresh coconuts so I can get some coconut water to get some electrolytes so that I could move around a little bit more because I have a lot to do. And other than that, sleep last night was terrible. I think I like tossed and turned all night. I think I went to sleep around like 2.30. Then I woke up at 6 a.m. and I was like, what the fuck? 
Then I had to force myself to go back to sleep. And then I think I woke up around 8 a.m. after. But usually I stay in the same spot. I was all over the place. Still doing my hot and cold stuff where covers on, covers off. Today I have a little bit of a headache, but I'm feeling much better. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do these cocos because I need the electrolytes. So I'm making my tea right now. I'm gonna take it to go. I did have some just plain spring water at room temperature. And I keep getting this like sharp pain in my temple. This is the second time it happened. It just happened again. But that's my update. Sleep was terrible last night. So I feel like I might have to nap later. Just trying to get through. I'm on day five, y'all, day five. Okay, I gotta go, I'm running late. <laughs> so you guys, it's 8.07, day five. One of my best friends came to visit me and we just, wow, my heart is racing. <laughs> Woo! We just got three cocos and I took the water out of them. It yielded a little bit more than this, so it was around three cups, because it filled my teacup up, which was around three cups. I'm adding that in the regimen, because I got stuff to do, and I, I can't be this weak person. So, it's hitting every taste bud that I needed to hit, but I also feel like I got a little bit more energy, just that quick. I still got a little bit of that nasty tea left, because I got a detox tea I made today. Look at that. It's nasty. I'm gonna do that. Then I think I'm gonna make some ginger tea because my tummy was, it was a little bit upset earlier. For some reason, this girl always come at the right time because <laughs> I'm just like, I, could I have done this? I mean, maybe fight, what is it, flight or fight? Yeah. Would have kicked in, but like, just made it so much easier because she's strong. I ain't, I'm got, a trainer. <laughs> I ain't got no type of energy. But other than that, I took a nap today for like an hour. Right now I'm not really tired. <sighs> How's the coconut? Delicious. It, it looks like it is. Probably gonna shower in a bit and just chillax and chill with her. I have no other updates for you guys. But today was definitely easier than yesterday. I actually drove today. I drove us to our facials. Where else did I drive? To Target, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to Target. And then Harbor Frights, and that was it. Yeah, so I did a lot today, minus yesterday I just hibernated. But I really hope I can sleep because according to my sleep app, I'm now at eight hours of sleep debt, meaning I'm eight hours behind on sleep because I just haven't been getting pleasant sleeps. And I feel it. So hopefully tonight my legs aren't as restless. So we'll see. Dulces, good night. <laughs>